today is August 2nd, 2016, and today today is my mom's birthday, and we just had breakfast, and we sang her happy birthday, and I should probably go show you the cake. It's just a, actually, no, I won't. It's just a blueberry cheesecake, simple as that, and I don't know if we're going to eat it right now, because it is currently 7 in the morning, so we'll see. I lost the other footage that explained everything in this next clip, so I'm just going to tell you guys again. So I was saying that I've never got stared at by so many people in my entire life and so many boys, except for here, like everyone stares at Marissa and mom and I and everything like that. So I was just telling you what was happening during a ride going back to Madison. As we were driving, there were two boys who made faces at me. One whistled and that that's about it. But like, I get that like, every single time we go out and there's also this one story to tell you guys so okay everywhere you go here in like department stores grocery stores whatever it's so overemployed like there's so many employees and in canada it seems like there's not even enough employees but here there's so many and they're everywhere you turn and so me marissa my mom and princess my second cousin we were out at csi which is like a grocery store and it's like overemployed like i said and most of the workers were men and so I was walking to go find my mom, and this guy was talking to my mom, and then he was like to my mom in Tagalog, um, is this your daughter? And then she's like, yes. And then he's like, hello, my name is so-and-so. Um, and he shook my hand, he's like, what's your name? And I was like, Brianna. And then he asked how old I was, and I said 15. And then he said his name again and shook my hand again, and then just continued to smile and stare. And I was like, ha <laughs> okay, bye. And so, yeah, that, that was, that's the end of my story. But yeah, I've never gotten t attention from so many boys here in my entire life. And I better enjoy it because I won't get any attention when I get back in Canada. So, yes. Did I tell you that a, a lady in every store I went in just kept following me? Like, okay, I was, I seemed kind of lost in CSI. And then a lady started following me. And then I guess, like, she went off. And then another person started following me. And... Then I went down this weird aisle of kids being dragged around. Mm, okay. I just wanted to tell you guys that it is so difficult to daily vlog. Like, I don't know how Joey Crisefa and, like, Pointless Vlog and Alicia and Mia all daily vlog. Like, how? I could not do it. Like, it is so difficult. I, it's, I think it's more difficult here just because, like, slow Wi-Fi and, like, I'm with people that I normally wouldn't vlog with and it's weird, but yeah, it's very hard. I could never daily vlog. Like I'm not gonna, I'm, I will never. Sorry if you ask for daily vlogs, I'm not doing it. It's so hard. Maybe weekly vlogs I could do, but not daily vlogs. That's a lot of work. So sorry if I'm like starting to slack off a bit on the vlogs. It's just very difficult and I'm trying not to complain or anything like that. I know complaining is stupid and I don't have an excuse, but you know, oh well. I'm not doing anything else. I should probably end the vlog, even though literally the last clip you saw was in this room this morning. So I'll combine it with tomorrow's vlog. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you have not already. Make sure to check all of the videos out that I've made. I made a playlist and I'll link it down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good. Bye. Hello. It is Wednesday, August 3rd. And today is my grandpa's birthday. And also the day suddenly I'm going to get a trim with my hair. And I'm very nervous because this is the reason why I have trust issues. It's because... I have never trusted any hairdresser except for the hairdresser I have right now because they always cut it too short and it's just shorter the way, like, way shorter than I would want it. So I'm very scared and, like, okay, look, my hair is pretty long right now. It's down to here, but, like, wait. So my hairdresser, I wanted it to be, like, a, like a messy kind of layered, so it's, like, cut different lengths and different areas so let me just show you the mess it is right now so when i part it like this there's these pieces right here that are longer than all of them do you do you see that 
like this is down to here and the rest are like well if I pull it like that but like this is just craziness like this is down to here and the rest of them are just like yeah so gonna get that done hopefully they don't mess it up because I'll be very mad and probably cry because I cr I've cried before because hairdressers have done such a terrible job with my hair so we'll see how it goes hello okay so I have a little story time video for you guys so I told you um when did I tell you like yesterday or something before we go any further, I filmed this clip today, which is the 4th, and the guy, I, I told you guys about the guy on the 2nd, and then this happened, the second encounter happened on the 3rd, so if the yesterday and that kind of thing gets confusing, that's about why. About how there was that guy who was at the um, store, and he was like, flirting with me or whatever, yeah, well, I have a story for you that happened yesterday. Okay, so... Yesterday, it was my little's birthday, and me, Marissa, and my mom went to CSI, which is the grocery store, to get um, groceries for the dinner that we're going to make for my grandpa's birthday. And so we went there, and um, I had a feeling that I'd see him again be just because, like, he works there, and, like, there's so many employees and stuff, and everybody wants to work and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'll probably see him, but I would think nothing, nothing of it. And so we were walking and whatever, picking up groceries, and then he spots me, and I didn't see him at first until he, we were, like, walking down the aisle, and he's like, hi, Brianna. I'm like, oh, hi. And so I was like, okay. Like, okay, I, w I think nothing of it. He just said hi. Okay, that's fine. And then so we started walking down the other aisle, and then my mom starts talking to him, and I'm like, great. This is going to be a great time. And so then he says to me, my, my, for the sake of this video, I'm going to say his name is uh, Luke. Okay, he says, my name is Luke, and I'm like, okay, cool, thanks, and I just smile and just walk away, and I was like, okay, that was fine, nothing really happened, so we continue on walking down the aisles to get groceries and stuff like that, and then we go down this one aisle, and I was like, just stay here, I'm gonna go grab something, I'm like, okay, fine. And me and my sister are just like talking and stuff like that, and then I see this big ladder come through our aisle, and I see his friend that he's working with, because last time... Um, he was working with the same guy, and he was, like, watching when we were talking or whatever. And so I see him, and I'm like, oh, crap, he's here, too. And so I see the cart just walk by. It stops where my cart is, and he's like, hi, Brianna. And I'm like, hi. And then his friend goes away, and then he says, um, are you here for lunch? And I was like, yeah, I am. Because at 12 o'clock, everyone goes out for lunch. Like, all the high school kids and elementary school kids are released to go get lunch or whatever. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm here for lunch. And then he said, are you going back to Canada next week? And I was like, yes, I am. And I, in my head, I was like, how do you know that? I was like, probably my mom asked him. I'd like told him or whatever. And then Marissa is just like laughing right there beside me playing with the raisins, and then she leaves, and I'm like, okay, great, she left me alone with him, and then he was like, how old are you again, and I was like, 15, I'm too young for you, and he's like, yeah, I'm 19, and I'm like, yeah, I'm too young for you, and then all I see is Marissa pacing back and forth from the aisle to see, and I just see her laughing at me the entire time, and I was like, okay, cool, thanks, Marissa, and so, yeah, he asked me that, and then he says, can I have your number? And the first time he said it, I was like, I didn't know what he said. And so I said, I said, pardon me before I process what he said. And then I processed it when I said, pardon me. And I was like, oh, great. And then he said, what, can I have your number? And I was like, sorry, I don't have a phone here because I obviously don't have a phone here. Well, you don't have a SIM card. My phone's not even in service in Canada. So I was like, okay. And then he's like, can I have your Facebook? And I was like, yeah, sure. And so he's like, write it on my hand. And I was like, okay. And so I write it on his hand, my name. And the pen runs out so it doesn't work. And he's like, oh, write it on this cardboard. And I'm like, okay. So I wrote my name on there. And he's like, what's your profile picture? And I was like, two people. And I was like, he's like, okay, I will add you. And I was like, okay thanks and then as I turned my card around to leave because I didn't want to stay in that spot because he was there and I'd be awkward just to like stand there and wait for my mom so I turned the card around my card gets stuck in his ladder and I was like 
oh dear, this is so embarrassing. And so he like helps me with it. And I try to like shake his hand to say, okay, bye. And then as I was leaving, he's like, thank you so much. You're so beautiful. And I'm like, ee, oh God, please stop. Oh. And so I was like, thank you. And then I just left. And then I found Marissa laughing at me. And we just, I told her the whole thing. And I was like, great. Oh, okay. So that was my story time video. I did not vlog anything else and the past two days the vlogs have been in this room and I'm very sorry for that. I just didn't vlog anything. It's just getting a little difficult to vlog every day and I don't enjoy it very much. I do enjoy it but just a little difficult. So I don't know how the next few vlogs are going to be but we'll just... I didn't even get to oh. cross.